Hello and welcome back to the 100% playthrough of The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine. In the last episode, we kind of explored the Buclair port over there. In this episode, however, I think I kind of want to start on Master, 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 Master. While in Tissot, one day Geralt found a notice posted by an armorer. Since to the Witcher, a good suit is potentially a matter of life or death. And since he had always benefited from working relationships, he had struck up with able plate bangers. Our hero debated the issue only briefly before resolving to visit the artisan. We need to find the Groundsmith, Grandmaster Smith, Lafargu. So and make use of hours of his services. We will gladly do that. I have no clue where that guy is. I kind of know, but getting there, like, um... Hmm, so your mother is pregnant. Oh my god, people are rude. Like, we just want to exist. Nothing else. Let us be. Yeah, but what I was trying to say, getting to the Grandmaster just by heart is kind of a no-go. Okay. Your reputation precedes you, Gary. Uh, well, nice we are too. glad it does. Exhibition of the Reginald Daugherty Monument will remain closed until further notice. Closed? Why, we wrote an entire day to see it. You're a cheat, sir. And we paid good coin for the tickets. Give it back! Your tickets remain valid. You must merely wait patiently for the exhibition to reopen. Can you believe Night, the tidings from the forest? And a cow dropped no from the sky in broad measures. daylight. It's a miracle there weren't more dead. Very interesting information. I think this over here should be the. I think even the winter contract. No, 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 no. It's the. No, no. Where is it? Goodness gracious, great balls of granite. Yes, this is this is the one. That would be the one. And our Grandmaster Smith wonders at the annual is over here, Lazar Lafargo's workshop. Year, Lady Vivian de Tabri. Well, good sir, what do you have for us? Greetings. A witcher from the School of the Wolf, here in Tucson. Greetings. I'm Lazar Lafargue. Geralt of Rivia. Seem pretty enthused. Got a job for me? Rather. Mind you, it's no monster hunt, but I'm sure you'll be interested all the same. I'm an armorer, see, and I for years sought diagrams for witcher armor of exceptional quality, Grandmaster level. Heard of them. Never seen any, though. Thought they were lost. Not quite. For I've been lucky enough to learn that their holders came to Tucson. Alas, they then perished, but I know where. I just need a partner to help me retrieve them. If you know where to look, why not get them yourself? No offense, but do I look like a rough-hewn adventurer? Besides, who would serve my clients while I romped about seeking them? No, I'd rather leave it to someone familiar with such matters. Bring me the diagrams, and from them, I'll forge for you whatever you fancy. That's good to know. Uh, so how these diagrams wind up in Toussaint? All these diagrams somehow wound up in Toussaint? How is that even possible? Toussaint was once home to Tien Saib, a legendary and now deceased elfin master armorer. Witches from all corners of the world came to him to forge their plate, their mail. Heard about him. Supposed to have been the best. And thus he charged the king's ransom for his work. Witches would take difficult, dangerous work to earn the coin to pay him. 
Some, alas, met with misfortune, and the diagrams they carried were left to rot with their earthly remains. Got it. Find them, find the diagrams. But how can I know where to look for their remains? As it happens, I learned my trade at Jensai inside. So I heard the stories of the missing witches firsthand. What he told me, well, that is what discouraged me from seeking the diagrams out myself. We must strike a deal. I shall tell you all I know. In return, once you found the diagrams, you will let me draft a copy. Okay, sounds good. And how did you end up apprentice to an elf? This elven master, how did he end up taking a human for an apprentice? My father forged armor. As a youngster, I helped him, then began forging my own pieces. Master Tien Sail saw my work and offered to take me on as his apprentice. Only now, years on, do I realize the honor that was. Alas, my master perished in a massacre later, slain by racists. Though he taught me everything he knew, I did not manage to complete the guild's requirements for Grand Master while he lived. I know I have no equal in the trade. Yet, uh, until I complete Witcher armor of Grand Master quality, I shall never be certain I've become my teacher's equal. Sounds like you need help with that, buddy, and it's help we are willing to provide. Now the diagrams tell us where to look for them. Where do I look for these diagrams? I know of five likely fallen witches, each from a different school of the wolf, griffin, cat, bear, and manticore. Which should I start with? Uh, tell us about the manticore when first. School of the manticore. Probably know the least about it, though once, long ago, wore some armor forged there. My master said the Manticores have their fortress in the Far East. A century passed, one of their number came to him, a witcher named Murta. He made a poor impression on my master. He stank like a dwarf and still, and uh, quarreled fiercely all the time. Tien Sahil slammed the door in his face and told him to return when he sobered up. He would conduct no business with a drunk. The Witcher, however, failed to return. Folk say he got into a booze-fueled brawl with the Ducal Guard. He was arrested and sentenced. Bastoy Prison, where he was held, well, it's been a ruin for years. Still, you may want to start your search there. Hey, sounds good. And um, how about the wolf? Tell me about my brother, the wolf. His name was Aton. I remember him well. My master liked him, helped him find a safe yet well-paid contract. A few years ago, an archaeological expedition arrived in Tucson from Castel Gropia. They questioned my master about the elfin ruins at the Termas. He warned them of the danger there and recommended they take Aton as an escort. What kind of danger did he mean? Any idea? Legend claims wraiths haunt the chambers beneath Termas. I cannot say if there is any truth to this, but both the scholars and the witcher disappeared without a trace. Hmm. And how about the Witcher from the Griffin School? The Griffin? What can you tell me about him? He came some 200 years ago, but my master remembered him well. This Witcher was not stripped of emotions, you see, as his colleagues were. He had taken on a contract at Fort Usa and required better gear. He showed my master his diagrams, paid a deposit, and was never seen again. Apparently, he rode off one night from the fort, never to return. Any idea where he went? No. It's said he left in a rush, 
so he may have left something behind. Only ruins remain of Fort Usa, but you may wish to search them. Sounds good. How about the Witcher from the Cat School? Let's talk about the cat. A year ago, Bartolome Delaunay, the Ducal Armorer, asked me to confirm the authenticity of a Witcher diagram he had received by messenger. You see, at the time he was working on new armor for the Ducal Guard. A Witcher from the School of the Cat offered to sell him diagrams for a full set of gear. The diagrams would have been helpful indeed. The diagram you saw, was it really a Witcher diagram? Beyond any doubt. It's a shame Delaunay didn't let me draft a copy. He was quite shaken up, afraid the Witcher might simply kill him and take his coin. Possibly a well-founded fear. Soon after, Delaunay disappeared without a trace. I would have searched his former home for clues, but it has fallen into disrepair, and it is simply too dangerous there. And last but not least, the Witcher from the Bear School. Tell me more about the bear, can you? He appeared shortly after Master Tiensail took me on as his apprentice. I remember the bear head medallion that uh, hung from his neck. I remember a towering Witcher who haggled like a fishwife. <laughs> Witchers never have too much coin. True, this one clearly was not wealthy. But he pledged to bring us coin after he completed a contract at the Tufo Vineyard, where a building had just collapsed. Time passed, the bear never showed, and my master sent me to the Tufo estate. As it turned out, the Witcher had indeed accepted a job. Yet that was all they heard of him, and that is all I know. Okay, last but not least... Well, the Barrow School was, last but not least. But last from all of this, what do you have in store? What do you have on offer? A lot. Holy money. Okay, you are definitely the guy we need. Okay, so Tissant, Duco Guardsman Armor. This can go. This can go. This. All of this. He has the money he can buy it off us. Uh, we're keeping this. We're getting rid of this. Go. This and this. And other than that, do you want to buy anything else? Need to the giant set with the album man. Okay. And a bunch of jewelry. We managed to scavenge. That's a uh, pretty pretty decent old map of Tisano. We're keeping that. Okay. Farewell. Good luck on the path. Now, scavenger hunts a boy. No cowardice. The beast of Beauclair has struck again. Citizens, beware of the beast. Turn your trembling hearts to the good book. You will find solace there. A friendly reminder from the Beauclair Cooper's Guild. Oakwood barrels, the best barrels around. Special discounts on purchases of ten or more. Truthfully, only a witcher stands to best the beast. Here, here. Okay, uh, scavenger hunt, Grandmaster Manticore gear. That's uh, one of the gears I want the most. So, honestly, we might as well... Uh, try and find as many diagrams in this episode as possible. Um, hmm. Do we go here? Do what I think we do, and we might as well like travel to the palace gardens. Well, at least we'll start the Grandmaster Witcher Gear search. Let's quickly fast travel to the palace gardens because I'm lazy. I'm just a little lazy like that. Uh, and let's go ahead, open the map, and go over here. Might as well grab all of these question marks while we're at it. 
Go. I can't believe this is one of the many greenhouses. Yes. Not the one where Milton was killed. And so nice and peaceful. I also really love that they like <laughs> just took the Elven Palace and made it their own. I love it and hate it at the same time, I should probably mention. I don't know what that is. I kind of don't want to find out. It looks like it's wolves. Oh my god, not boars. They don't hurt that much. It's fine. I hate boars. I hate them with a burning passion. Just... There we go. Just don't. Essentially, it's it's just don't. Please don't. Okay, we have something over here. Looks like a couple of pitch tents might be a bandit camp. A veterinary contract. The Fawn of the Northern Realms, Volume 2. Bears dwell in the wildernesses of the north, in its tight mount in its high mountain regions, and in areas gripped with eternal frost. These animals can even be found where the human eye sees nothing but ice and snow where they are skilled omnivores, hunters and gatherers, always able to find nourishment of some sort, even in the most hostile conditions. Bears are best avoided. While they are not usually aggressive, it is always a good policy to stay out of their way of any massive and fast-moving animals, in particular ones equipped with sharp claws and teeth. Noted. That point would be the end of me. I lent you corn for wine. Uh, do we have anything else? No, but we can talk to the wine merchant. You, sir, are a witcher. The very one the Duquesa summoned. The very he one. Charged. And you gotta be someone who wants something from me. It's like you read my mind. You see, those caves are like cellars the gods carved out for their own stores. Spacious, dry, just some monster lives inside him. A soothsayer. Gods be Celted, a soothsayer. So will you help? Far from a soothsayer, but we need to agree on a fee first. Might help, might not. Depends on whether we can agree on a fee. Um, let's say 235. Good. Yes, so be it. Nice, we'll take care of it. Sure, I'll see to it. For the sizable reward I foresee you giving me. But nurse contract, Duke, Duke of Ton, rest. Well then, let's see what awaits us in here. Uh, we might as well equip a torch. Let's see here. Oh, this looks like... Giant centipedes? Maybe. It's a Shellmar. Hey. Um. What on earth did I just experience? 
Like, what was that? Holy, that is not healthy. That is 100% not healthy. Whoa. That little guy packs a punch, eh? Giga Sean Crest, Gorgon Hills. So there has to be something here. Oh, it's the exit. Well, yeah. <laughs> there is something here, it's an exit. So? Well? Problem solved. Shalemar that lived in the cave won't pester you anymore. Superb! I've gained a warehouse and you've gained my gratitude. What about coin? Uh Well, we agreed on 235. He cheated us. Are you showing me what you're selling? Has had cheated us. I'm angry now. See you later. I want my little crown back. This one. The one that he cheated us on. That's mean. We have something over here right like right up there. Up there, no up there, kind of. Kind of over there. Let's see what monstrosities await us next. Ryukon Outpost. Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? Looks like to be it. Okay, so just a nice, quaint place. I don't know what that is. I kind of don't want to find out either. Ooh. Thank you for the wine. Arrest warrant in accordance with Article 161 of the Ducal Code. The Attorney General for the City of Beauclair has designated a reward to be given to whomever shall bring before the court one Loth, son of Mark, alias half breed, or else provide proof of his passing. Well, this guy didn't make it. Everything over here is locked. He's got their nest here. Samuel A's notes. Father's hounding me to do some chores again. With all his nagging, I shall never finish my ingenious mechanism. At least Muzzy supports me and lends me her mirror. Along with the two others I bought with my savings, I will be able to test whether the device I have invented will indeed work. But first, I shall sum up the beginning of my tale for the benefit of any... To happen upon it only at this moment. My dearest love, Alice, Alice dwells with her family at an estate snuggled up in a valley so deep that between September and March the sun is continually hidden behind the abuting slopes. All the residents of this settlement must live in constant twilight and darkness for these long months, and soon this perennial torture will be but a dark memory. My invention is brilliant in its simplicity. Atop one of the nearby mountains, I shall install a system of mirrors to reflect the rays of the sun towards her manor. That's it. Haha. <laughs> it was worth it all those long nights spent at the Imperial Academy Library during my studies, perfecting my skills in arithmetic and alchemy. I would like to test my discovery today, but father keeps shouting that my contraption will only attract a few feeble-minded magpies to do-do all over our abode, or even worse, bring in a flock of harpies, but he's always got a problem with everything. I wait until he leaves for town, then set up my mirrors in a flash. I don't think that was so smart, buddy. 
Oh, uh, you're dead. Nope. I did not mean to go down. Oh. Uh, it's a good thing we went down here. Um, I'm guessing that's the father. Okay, let's actually activate the treasure hunt for the Matacor gear. And open up the map. See what dwells over here. So we do have to pass this monster over there. I'm kind of not wanting to come across, but we might have no choice in that matter. It's a bear. And the question mark is down there, so there has to be an entrance. More harpies, not really interested. Oh, it's also not it. I know there has to be a cave entrance over here. They really masked this one very good. Harpies are easy to deal with. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Oh, look at the view. It's really is so nice. Now, cave. This looks like a potential cavey side. <gasps> Huh. Or maybe not. But like, how else are you supposed to get down there? Hmm. Okay, well, let's forego this one for now at least. And move over to this one. Oh, I think I kind of know what this is. Help! Help us! Uh, Please help! Yes, yes, I know what this is, and no, I I don't want to do it just yet because this is a little quest, and um, I do believe. This is kind of connected to this. So let's not delve into it just yet. We will, however, go towards this area. Okay. Can I go inside? No, of course not. <laughs> Why would you be able to get inside? Like a painter has his little place there. Oh, it's so nice. Uh, half breed, we've read about you already. 
That looks like a raging Cyclops. But then why? Easy, just like that. Okay. And we scavenge your places. The answer looks to be no. You go your way, I'll go mine. We do have an unsent leather, though. To be delivered personally to Damian de la Tour, your commander, we, the undersigned, turn to you with a polite request to provide protection to our humble settlement on Cooper's Slope, for we live in fear of acts of rampage and destruction on the part of giants descending from Mount Gorgon. As recently as a week ago, once a giant attacked our Cooper's workshop, destroyed our yard, stole one of the barrels and put it on his head, as of donning a helm. Heedless to our warnings that this contradicted the item intended to use and might lead to unpredictable side effects, it then fled towards the Sanskrit or Reveler. Ducal paper pushers refuse to believe our words, and we are afraid those monsters will kill us all in our sleep. We thank you in advance for considering our humble plea. Amelia, Carol, Jacob, Gregoire, and Caroline. So the quote unquote knight turned into a giant was just a giant. That's good to know. Uh, do we have a What? Why are people panicking? I'm just looting. Oh uh, heck! A day like all of this. Okay, and I do believe. I do believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not. We are over here. About to find our very first uh, bit or two of diagrams. Just over here. A toy prison. I wonder if I'll find anything Merton left behind here. That would be very nice if you did, Geralt. And treasure. Okay. Oh, frick. <laughs> An elf. Lady. Whoa, lady. Oh, uh, no. No, 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 no. Hang on. Hang on a second. Black blood. There we go. Okay, so it's somewhere over here. We also have. Oh! Hey there, buddy. Clerk's diary and old key. 
fragment of internal soil was blood and spinal fluid. It portended to be just another day as a cleric at the ducal treasury. Start the morning with baguette and camembert, then shuffle some parchments and head for home before dusk. Today, however, the normal order of things was disturbed dramatically. They came across a highly interesting note in the archives, and along with it, a key. The key is more interesting find, because according to what I could decipher from the dust-covered scribblings on the note, it opens a chest full of gold coins, but I'm getting ahead of myself. While doing some routine strategizing of the pe uh, straightening of the files, I found a report outlining procedures from the reform of Bastoy prison orders straight from Duke Henry Gras. We all are aware how badly this experiment ended, for the ruins of that present to this day frighten any potential tourists with their battered skeletons and legends about howling spirits of the murdered guards. And I did not know that hiding among the abandoned ruins there was a chest, and that its key was lying right under my nose. The chest supposedly contains crowns meant for the purchase of books and rations for the inmates of Bastoy. One of the clerks in Lloyd here at the time committed a sin of omission and sent the chest to the warden without the key. Yet perhaps it was for the best. The warden was impaled and the guards all skinned alive, meaning those degenerates would have also got their hands on the chest had they had he received the key. As it is, might the chest still be there unopened? Folks say a curse has fallen on that place, a dark power brought down by the bestiality of the murders it beheld. But folks say an Ophiri will become Emperor of Nilfgaard and herald the end of the world, so there's not much point giving any of such jabbering much credence. The Tucson prison experiment. We need to find a treasure. Okay. Treasure is giving off a bigger area. Be worth looking into, and I think we found it? Yeah. Uh, Toussaint, Ducal Guard, Captain Armor, and Trousers. Lesser Mutagen, Transmutator, Red to Green, and Work Order. Can we... Can we read that? Guess not. And I Librarian's Memoirs. Well then. Order for the Reorganization and Reform of Bastoy Prison to the Warden. By the decree of his illustrious grace, Duck Henry III Jacques Olay, Warden of Pastoy Prison is required to implement the following reforms. 1. Dismiss half of the prison's guard staff. 2. Forbid the use of corporal force against the inmates. 3. Discontinue punishment by dark cells, limited rations, and flogging. 4. Permit the prisoners to possess private property. 5. Allow prisoners to walk at will around the penitentiary grounds. 6. Purchase... Using the included funds, vittles of the finest quality, and hire a teacher to instruct in reading and writing and purchase any equipment necessary for said instruction. His illustrious Grace Duke Henri III believes these changes, based on models popular in these more civilized lands of the South, will result in a lowering of the rate of crime in all the duchy, but by showing young offenders a pathway to a new life. Junior Clerk Philip Jordi Simbardo. Now we have librarian's memoirs. I am baseled and I stole. I admit this and I'm ashamed of my actions. But what was I supposed to do? My salary as a scribe was so laughably meager I was reduced to borrowing coin from my mother. I was a thief, but I also did a great deal of good for the palace library. Who secured the most important... The import of such tomes as the Lives of the Prophets, the Hemor Obidius, the Art of Midwifery for Maidens, and many others. The Palace Library has me to thank for the storehouse of all knowledge needed for a merry and satisfied life and other rare tomes, such as Spect Speculum Orium and the Larvis Sentences at Figuris Camicus. Theft and embezzlement mean nothing, a man's true value shows in the manner in which he treats books. I don't think many would agree with that, buddy, but you do you. You absolutely do you. If that, if that makes you be, be at peace, so be it. 
And we still didn't find the armor. Or at least the diagram. So, I have something here. Notes of a death row convict. The sun is now rising. I shall make use of its light to write this letter before they come to take me to the gallows. I do not know who shall read it, or indeed if anyone shall. Perhaps I am writing only to myself to cast this out before my execution and cleanse my heart. Yes, I killed him. Until now I have lied in an attempt to avoid punishment. I still believe he deserved death for what he did to me. Did I do wrong? Perhaps. Yet he was most assuredly a bad man, only one who deserved death. The gods shall make the final judgment and they shall deliver the sentences, mine and his. I hear the guards' steps. May the gods watch over my soul. Oh, you poor sod. They didn't exactly make it through. These little diagrams are really good at hiding themselves. Oh, there's something over there. There's something over there. Ah, okay. Nothing to be worried about, so... Actually, uh here linen and rope diagrammatic or steel sword and prisoner journal 30th of Burke 1201 my fellow captive Merton who for so many months had kept his next death mocked my faith in Libyota and praised the joys of a righteous life today broke down completely he admitted he had wasted his God-given time on pleasures of the flesh and all that he had to show for it were chains and indigentes. I tried to lift his spirits to tell him there is another path, that he can cast off his past habits and devote his life to Libyota and his teaching. For now, my counsels have fallen on deaf ears, but I believe he will one day convert and listen to the truth. A legible ent entry. 17th of Lamas 1202. It is shocking how pleasantly I now converse with Martin. It beggars belief to this. We once could not bear each other's presence. He is a man transformed, metamorphosed. I feel he has accepted his new path. He devours greedily all I tell him about Libyota and his teachings. What rapture it is! In this dank and dark dungeon, the Prophet sent me a sinner and gave my life meaning. Blotted Entry, 43rd of Blath, 1203. It's over. Merton has served his sentence and left these accursed dungeon walls. The teachings which I tried to pass on to him during these last dozen months have clearly taken root. Merton has vowed to go on a pilgrimage which will let him cast off his old ways and open the doors. <clears throat> I do apologize and open the doors for a new life. As I advise, he will go first to the cave where Labioda received enlightenment and on whose walls he carved four of his great truths. I hope the aura of that place will help Merton, as it helped many before him, achieve cleansing and gain strength to continue his pilgrimage on this next station, which I advise him should be. The rest is illegible. Notes in the journal suggest that straight out of prison, Merton went to the legendary cave. Leviota was supposed to have hunkered down. That's, that's my next destination. Okay, now let's see where that next destination is. All the way across over here, kind of close to the uh, Trustamara hunting cottage. So, hmm, how to do it? We kind of need a fast travel. Even though, do we need a fast travel? I'm not really sure. I do know, however, that this is where we are going to wrap this episode up. So thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. And if you did, show your support by liking, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. And don't forget to press the little bell icon to stay notified whenever I upload a new episode. Be it for The Witcher or any of the other playthroughs I'm doing on my channel. Uh, other than that, I think we will definitely continue the Grandmaster Manicor gear hunt, which will, I dare say, take us all over to Sol. Uh, hopefully by the end of, uh, by the end of last episode, we will actually manage to 
not the last episode, next episode, goodness, what am I talking about? I really hope by the end of next episode we will manage to kind of gather all of it and bring it to Lafargo so he can craft us a brand new armor set. Until next time, guys. Bye! Thank you.